Yeah, like, so we, um, we actually have, you know, we were working on something for, uh, for the Olympics for the last couple of years. Um, and I think, you know, it's not only just, you know, the, the kind of the heartache of it, of it moving out, especially, you know, if we have any kind of developers in the room or anybody that's worked on a project for a few years, it's like, whoa, it's a, the, the heartache of that uh, being moved out. But um, it was also the challenge of, uh, of then even doing build reviews, right, which is really common to do together, that we had to sort of figure out how to do remote build reviews together. And then, you know, how do we do remote build reviews internationally? And how do you, like, so it pushed us uh, in a lot of ways in the near term. And, it, and again, like, I think, I, I, I hesitate to say that, like, a year from now, we're going to be full on, like, you know, a virtual version of the live event. But I, I do think that you're going to see people start again, like they're just unwilling to be caught in the position they were in this year. So you'll start to see people build into the experiences that they're doing live, which may only be able to hit 30% capacity, some capability to capture that event in real time and broadcast it across several different mediums, even if it's not AR or VR, maybe it's just VR, or maybe it's mobile, some ability to do live, you know, uh, real time compositing of 3D elements into some socially broadcastable uh, piece, which is still really powerful education. It still moves the market uh, forward. But I think that's what you'll really start to see is um, taking elements of a live experience that can't quite hit capacity and therefore the economics don't quite work like they used to, um, being pulled into uh, different types of platforms, whether it's like, you know, web or live streaming or social or, or VR. Um, they'll be looking for ways to build that infrastructure so this doesn't happen again, the sort of gap where they're completely disconnected.